Hello, welcome to IF, we post new videos weekly, hit that subscribe button and never miss a video again. Sleep is something we all do, some of us get more, some of us get less, it's something we do every night, but what if we stopped sleeping? Could we give up on the nightly ritual of shut eye and if we did what would happen? In this video we take a look at those whom have tried. And talking of trying, I have been trying to bring you guys regular content and produce higher quality videos each week. This is something I really enjoy doing, but with the negativity circling YouTube and the latest batch of rules limiting small channels, I feel a little defeated. The moving of the goalposts once again by YouTube has and will affect smaller YouTube creators. On this note I would like to ask you guys for some help. Help me and the other channels that have been hit by these rules by subscribing and sharing the content you enjoy. If we work together and subscribe to as many smaller creators as we can, we could provide a workaround for all those that have been hit by this latest round of rule changes. Support the small channels or they may just go away. So let's get back to the video. Medical science states that sleep is an essential bodily function and recommends that we should get 6 to 8 hours a night. We all know the benefits from springing out of bed full of energy to having a clear head throughout your day and we are aware of the negative effects from lack of sleep. When we don't get enough sleep we can become lethargic, muddled and generally not feel good. So how about those that stop sleeping? Insomnia is the inability to sleep and in some people this has been taken to the extreme. A Vietnamese man named Ngoc went 30 years without sleep. The man well into his 80s spent 30 years not sleeping. Living on his small Vietnamese farm, Ngoc spent his sleepless nights looking over his farm and protecting neighbors farms from damage caused by wild boars. Ngoc has spent his sleepless time doing useful work for his community and co-villagers. This may sound like a blessing, the long days granting him more time to carry out the tasks he needs to do but it's not all good. Doctors express concerns, the body not having the time and rest and recuperation it needs. However, Nock seems to soldier on with little to no side effects from his lack of sleep. Using lamps he continued with the farm work, harvesting rice, plowing the soil, growing potatoes and tending soybean plants. When the farm work was over he used the extra time to make baskets and other household utensils and some nights he brews wine. Knox claims were tested when camera crews from varying countries visited his home and filmed a day and a night in his life. They followed his every move for 24 hours. Knox reported, people from television corporations who came to document me thought that I am sleepless due to some mental illness. They brought me to a psychiatrist hospital in Da Nang for medical checkups. The doctor said I had no signs of mental disease. Some were still doubtful of the doctor's results so they tried to test my memory. They marked things like a knife, a glass, a banana etc, each with a number and showed them to me to see for a while. Then hid them away from my sight. Then they asked me the number tag on each thing. To their surprise I could tell their correct thing and its number as well. Finally they believed that I had no impact from sleeplessness and filmed me. He added, I am so sad when there is no work to do at night. I just lay down to rest my back and just bide my time smoking and drinking tea until sunrise. Well, that doesn't sound that fun, especially when he could be catching some Z's and having a nice dream. 
A few years ago, a Thai TV channel stayed with Nock for several days. They saw how, at night, Nock's productivity doubled compared to that of a regular person. He did not sleep for the duration of the film crew's stay, and they were impressed seeing him work very hard in the fields during the days. Another TV studio took an interest in the man and sent their crew to film him. They witnessed the same sleepless man hard at work day and night. In a bid to find an answer and possibly help Nock, they took him to a mental hospital for an examination. Here doctors diagnosed that he had problems with blood circulation in the brain. They did not know if this was what impeded his sleep. Medical scientists have invited Nock abroad to undergo research and maybe treatment, but Nock refuses. He famously boasted that in two months after drinking several glasses of rice wine he could sleep for around 30 minutes. At 70 years old and with 40 years of sleeplessness, it's amazing. Another case is that of Anna, a 42 year old woman who was referred to the sleep disorder center with severe insomnia. The single mother of three first experienced insomnia eight years before her trip to the clinic. It began when bankruptcy threatened her small business. Her business did recover a year later but the insomnia remained and took its toll over the following eight years. Anna was given a number of strong drugs to help the condition. She also tried antidepressants, all being unsuccessful. This insomnia had left her hanging on by her fingernails, forced her to give up her social life. She felt depleted and stressed all of the time. Problems in her sleep pattern could be the underlying cause of her insomnia. On a typical night she would try to go to bed around 11 p.m. She usually fell asleep in less than 15 minutes but it could take her hours to fall asleep. She would wake three or four times during the night and at least one of these awakenings lasted two to three hours. Frustrated she would get out of bed to work on the computer until she became sleepy, often not happening until around 5.30 am which is the time she should be getting up. A result of this lack of sleep manifested in many ways from excessive sleepiness and fatigue to a lack of energy and her high stress levels. It would seem that this lady had none of the good fortune that came with Nox sleepiness. Anna's treatment was long and drawn out, many mainstream medications used with little to no effect. This is when alternative methods were then introduced. Daily meditation and hypnosis were used to treat her and five years after the initial treatment she was sleeping normally once again. If these two examples of people has you thinking that this sounds like something you would like to try, think again. There have been people whom have tried to do without sleep in the name of research and things weren't pleasant. In 1963 a group of boys tried quitting sleeping. This is the story of the boy who stayed awake for 11 days. The 8th of January 1964, 17 year old Randy Gardner brought his experiment to an end. He had managed to stay awake for 11 days and 25 minutes. A new record, Bruce McAllister a friend of Randy said they had come up with the idea as part of their school science fair. They wanted to beat the world record for not sleeping. At the time this was 260 hours or just 11 days. This first record was set by a group conducting science on the effect of sleepiness on paranormal abilities. The boys were in fact extremely brave as science of the time suggested that sleep deprivation on its own could eventually lead to death. A flip of a coin decided who would be the one to stay awake. Randy lost that toss. The boys experiment didn't start well with Bruce struggling to stay awake and record Randy. This is when they brought in a third person. Joe Marciano joined to help them and shortly after a sleep researcher called William Dement from Stanford University also began to help. I was probably the only person on the planet at that time who had actually done sleep research. 
Randy's parents were worried that this might be something that would really be harmful to him because the question was still unresolved on whether or not if you go without sleep long enough you will die DeMent said. As the experiment wore on it began to show some unexpected results. After the experiment had run for a few days Randy was still upbeat and wasn't particularly impaired. As more time passed the results they recorded threw up some unexpected results. The lack of sleep began to show adverse effects on his cognitive and sensory abilities. His sense of taste, smell and hearing all affected. If he closed his eyes he would be immediately asleep. Nighttime was harder as there was nothing to do and they had a hard time keeping Randy awake. The students took their experiment very seriously. They pushed through and broke the world record going 264 hours with no sleep. Instead of having a celebratory nap Randy was whisked off to a naval hospital where his brain waves were monitored. There he finally got to take a rest. Sleeping for 14 hours his brain waves were monitored and found that he spent a little longer in REM sleep but otherwise it was a normal rest period and this led them to the discovery that his brain had been catnapping the entire time. Parts of it would sleep while other parts of it remained awake. This technique of the brain may be an evolutionary trait. After all humans have been required to go without sleep throughout our history. This mechanism allows us to still function even without rest. Randy's final words on the whole thing were, it's just mind over matter. Could we use this brain sleep balancing technique to limit the time we sleep? Would you like to forego sleep? Hmm, it's something worth thinking about. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If this video has you feeling sleepy, quickly hit that subscribe button before you doze off. Remember, you can find us on social media, just search We Are If. And as mentioned at the beginning of the video, please, please, please support all of us smaller YouTubers during this time of change. Thanks for watching. See you next time.